Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are out on the launch pad uh, again today, as we will be for a, uh, a little while. Uh, this is our, hopefully, our new Venus lab. For those of you who've been counting, uh, this is our third attempt at putting a uh, crewed station uh, around Venus. Of course, going up without any crew uh, on board yet. But uh, we have yet to successfully put one in orbit, and since we have such a fantastic uh, Venus window currently, uh, we really need to maximize our efforts. So, uh, sitting on top of a uh, DN6B, uh, and uh, pre-flight is complete, our relative inclination with the moon is good, SAS is on, throttle is set to full, ignition sequence start. Solid light on all engines, clamps off. 1.13 off the pad, but it's a little slow going at first. Wow, this is rather heavy. All things considered, this is, uh, I guess what you would call an AIO station. It's a single launch, single station. It is uh, adapted from our uh, renditions, or our modifications, sorry, to Harmonia Station, in that it has the same new habitat module and uh, lab assembly. Uh, that we try to construct as two separate pieces out there, because the lab is already in Mars orbit. Uh, this is just going up uh, as a self-contained unit, plus some extra goodies and a full science loadout. Uh, and seeing as how I've failed at this twice already, I'm um, probably going to try to pay some extra close attention to our uh, ascent profile, and uh, getting this thing very nicely tucked to a uh, great, fantastic orbit, and hopefully we'll have a successful transfer. Uh, the last failure was at capture, um, due to a staging mishap, I believe. Sounds about right. The yeah, first failure was a RUD uh, on launch, so that's why I need to be extra careful with this one. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start this gravity turn here in a couple of seconds, I suppose, when we hit about 100 meters per second uh, total velocity, and uh, I will pick all of you up in orbit. So it was just a uh, little bit late pulling the trigger on that gravity turn, but uh, hopefully that won't uh, affect things too much. Uh, we did experience a, a little bit of the boogie noodle on this one, although uh, a lot less than we have on uh, previous iterations, uh, both on launching the first two versions of this station and uh, on other payloads we've strapped on top of this rocket. Uh, throttling back did mitigate some of it, but uh, not entirely, and I think it's all just uh, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement, not really reinforcing joints uh, all that well, although I've never played RSS without it, so maybe it's doing me a huge favor and I'm just being entirely ungrateful. Um, anyway, Ascent Profile was actually pretty good. I think I did a much better job of flying this thing to orbit than I have uh, many, many, many missions in the past. Uh, I don't know, talking and trying to play games is still uh, very difficult to despite how much I've uh, actually done it. Uh, so uh, I did overshoot by just a little bit, so uh, once we were clear of most of the atmosphere, we really just kind of leaned into it, um, trying also to keep our relative inclination uh, somewhat respectable, although we are uh, very much off-plane with Venus, as we'll get more into later as far as uh, inclination changes that uh, may or may not be necessary if you're not looking to go into a polar Venus orbit. Anyway, coming up on Booster Sep, we decided to go for a, a little bit of a beauty screeny, uh, although it was a, a little further off than I thought. There they are, down and away. Excellent. Fairing Sep, they are also clear and away, so we can go ahead and uh, boot our solar panels and our comms. Now, I spent a good long while here looking around for the short-range comms and uh, couldn't find them. I know I tucked them in there somewhere on the station core to where they were kind of out of the way, uh, but I couldn't find them and then I remembered, oh, I set up a boot action group which retracted the solar panels, so I had to redo that, although I generally hit uh, or, or activate on the comm stuff instead of toggle, so I'm hoping all of those are still uh, turned on and activated. Uh, the long-range comms are still unfolded. Now there is some secret fuel tucked away up here. There it is. We're just going to go ahead and uh, make sure that's available to us for when we need it, and then uh, realize that our relative inclination is a uh, way off point, so we'll uh, steer into that as we're coming in with the about 30 some odd seconds uh, to our uh, apoapsis 
Uh, so we will pitch up a little bit. We'll start to run that uh, time to apoapsis longer and then lean right back down into it, which is uh, not unusual for me flying a rocket to orbit, quite honestly. But uh, as our TWR starts to get in the uh, 2 plus area, we don't have any problems shooting right down the horizon and uh, still walking that uh, time to apogee uh, higher and higher, which is always uh, beneficial, although we'd like to keep it within just a couple of seconds, so we'll start to pitch down here a little bit as we come up on Miko and Old Me. Alright, well, that's orbit 235 by 185, 798 meters per second left in our core stage, which we will go ahead and dispose of, as soon as KSB catches up with me here. Any second now. There she is. Alright. And make sure throttle is set to zero. Activate our HG3 on our B upper stage, uh, 4,200 meters per second here. So hopefully we can carry a little bit of this with us uh, to Venus to uh, help with capture. That uh, will be propulsive, as you can see the uh, ELE upper stage taken from our uh, Harmonia mission uh, up there also. There's just a little bit of reconfiguring to make things uh, mesh well, but uh, comms are all set up. Uh, everything here is pretty much looking good other than uh, I got that alignment way wrong it's interesting did I redo that that's just sloppy work oops my bad all right let's get out to the map view and get our node plotted and uh, get things figured out here Venus set as target goodbye rendezvous planner Hello, Maneuver Planner, and we're going to create node as soon as possible. Uh, create node. 3,400 meters per second doesn't quite give us an encounter. It did this to me last time also. We'll just uh, trim a little bit. Really? Oh, yeah, we need more burn. Oh, there she is. And I'm just going to dial this in real quick. Not that it matters a whole lot, because I'm going to mess it up anyway, but it does uh, help. It doesn't It doesn't actually help, not even a little bit. So uh, this is what I meant when I uh, mentioned being off-plane with Venus before, is that uh, it's going to be very hard to put this in as close to an equatorial orbit as I would like, uh, straight from ejection. We will be looking at a mid-course correction uh, at some point, but... Um, we were able to get in relatively close, although I did spend a whole lot of time uh, playing with this node. But uh, I think we're getting closer. So here's old me. All right, we're going to go for that for right now. Uh, it does look like we're going to need a mid-course correction to uh, get this on a more equatorial plane. Where are you going, fellas? Uh, 17 minutes until our eject ejection burn. Estimated burn of two minutes. Sure. I believe that, and I don't quite know why our station thrusters are firing. That should not be a thing. I thought I locked all of that fuel. Yeah. Well, maybe it's getting transferred fuel. We'll probably have to deal with that a little later. No big deal. Get ourselves dialed in here, and then... Cheaty, cheaty time warp. And we're going to get ourselves out to about the 10 minute mark. Or, I'm sorry. The burn will take about five or 10 minutes total. So we'll just uh, get down here to about the 5 minute mark. And then uh, get this burn underway. Oop, overshot by just a little. Hopefully that won't be a huge problem. Let's bring up our engine info here. Put away mech jeb. Start to ullage. Tell flight computer to hold maneuver node. Engine is very stable. Ignition. Solid light. Let's just hope um, time to periapsis 1 minute 50 and pushing it out. Let's uh, hope that periapsis doesn't go too negative because I really don't want to have to redo this burn make a massive correction, so we'll just keep our eye on that uh, periapsis altitude it is going down. Uh, we got about 40 kilometers to play with. 
and good. Our time to periapsis is falling also, so we'll be past it in about two minutes and then certainly be on our way up. We'll just have to see uh, how far down that gets nudged. It would fall a little bit, but um, spoilers. It doesn't get anywhere close to uh, touching the atmosphere, so no worries there. Really, our biggest concern now was uh, making sure our HG3 didn't fail on us. Um, it's been an extraordinarily reliable engine for the yeah, what, 30 years it's been in service in basic iterations, so uh, I'd say really that's not a huge problem, but we would like it to have some life left in it when we go to uh, propulsively capture at Venus. Of course, it will not be doing the entire burn. That's what that uh, little uh, stage with our experimental engine is there for, which uh, has something like uh, 31 or 3200 meters per second all on its own. Uh, maybe, was it 34? I can't even remember. I could just rewind and look, but I honestly can't even be bothered. And uh, yes, if you're watching the screen, Venus is just below the horizon uh, on Earth. We do have uh, quite a nice view of many of the planets currently, which is uh, outstanding. Very pleasant to look at. At least it gave me something to do while uh, running through this burn. I did try some physics warp at some point. Uh, not the greatest idea. Uh, we did get some exceptional boogieing going on, but thankfully uh, nothing that was too fatal. No RUD. Uh, no loss of our third attempt to put a station around Venus in about six years. So this uh, this entire project has been falling quite a bit behind uh, the rated schedule. I was hoping to have it crewed and maybe even the first crew on their way home by 1990, but it looks like uh, we will not have crew on board here until 91 or 92 uh, at the earliest, perhaps. So it's uh, <laughs> not that we're going to write it up as a failure, but we haven't taken the contract yet for a crewed Venus flyby either. So uh, we're not out any money, but we certainly aren't generating any of it either which is uh, why I thought the last episode was such a fantastic idea, because uh, that shuttle crew is actually going to stay in orbit for uh, 11 days, something like that, uh, so that we can get a three Kerbal to low Earth orbit contract, and uh, that'll put about 600 grand in our pocket, um, which will be uh, extraordinarily nice to have. And so uh, just checking, uh, I did see a blip on the uh, telemetry, which gave me cause to shut the engine down. We were nowhere near Venus, so thankfully we have five ignitions on this HG3. We'll just uh, light it up one more time and then uh, let that periapsis fall to some place where it's actually going to encounter Venus. There it is. Uh, way outside of what we would have liked it to be. And uh, here's the part where I play with a million nodes, although it won't really let me set one where I want, and it also won't give me ascending or descending node icons, so I, I don't actually know where I need to be in order to uh, correct this the best, but uh, I do know that I would like to be uh, all along a plane with this resupply pod that has been sitting here for almost a half decade, uh, getting unbelievably stale, although... I think we've uh, made some huge leaps and bounds in storable foods that resist staleness. So, yeah, hopefully it's it'll be just fine. I don't know. There's probably some 11-year-old supplies still on board Harmonia, and they're eating those just fine because, uh, you know, they get to be around Mars. So hopefully our Venus crew will be uh, equally forgiving. Anyway, uh, many attempts here to get this uh, in line were uh, just not quite adding up. So I left the node as a marker. Uh, we'll set the alarm, give it 35 minutes of headway, and then uh, come back to it for a proper course correction that will be replotted later. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.